So I'm gonna try to explain this as best as possible. I started with twists on my hair already. It just made it easier to separate and just start my twists. It cut my twisting time in half. Um, so here I am just separating my hair and getting ready to grab a twist. Now I'm just stretching out this hair just so I'm not getting like a blunt cut with these twists and make sure they're different lengths. So I'm going to split my twist in half. So I'm splitting my hair in two sections or my twist in two sections. Then I'm gonna take that um, twisting hair and I'm gonna put it right in the center of my twist. I'm using both the twisting hair and my real hair. I'm gonna twist it together and twist in the same direction. And then try to keep that hair in the middle and then twist the other piece in the same direction. And then you're literally just gonna twist um, your strands like you're twisting um, normally and just keep twisting in the same direction, just over and over until you get to the end. And this is how I twist my ends. I like them to look messy. I don't like it to be too uniform. I kind of just twist it and then let it hang. And it's just going to close by itself because the hair is already curly. So I'm just taking this section. I'm putting the hair between the um, the twisting hair in between my real hair and I'm just going to twist both pieces in the same direction. I can use one of my fingers to hold down on um, the twisting hair um, so it is close to my real hair and I'm just twisting them all together. Twist one piece in one direction and then take that other piece of the twist, twist in the same direction and then twist them over each other. And here are the final results. I love them. I love doing passion twists. They're pretty easy and I mean, it's such a cute style. I love them. What do you guys think? All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe. Bye.